those are teeth. Yeah, just like our teeth, only they're very pointy, almost more like a crocodile's teeth. Yeah, they don't have different shapes, like our teeth have different shapes, but they just have one shape instead. So this little guy, this is a dinosaur that we call Velociraptor. Have any of you guys heard of Velociraptor, maybe from some movies? Yeah, like thumbs up or raise your hand if you have heard of Velociraptor. Oh, I see a lot of hands raising, that's awesome. That's so great. Yeah, so Velociraptor got really famous because um, it, it was um, one of the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park, right? So how many of you guys have seen Jurassic Park or any of the Jurassic Park movies? Yeah, I see a lot of hands raised. Yeah. Oh, this is so great. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies, guys. So um, even though I do science for my job, I also just really love dinosaurs and talking about um, ancient creatures just for fun. And I love that these movies, like the Jurassic Park movies, helped so many people learn more about, about fossils and a little bit about what, what scientists do. Although I have to tell you guys, I've never been invited to a tropical island and I've never had to run away from a bunch of dinosaurs that escaped. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. I'll, I'll let you know if that changes. Um, so this little guy, Velociraptor, right, I'm kind of petting its snout. It's a little hard to see like what all this is except the teeth. But can you see right here where my, my nose is, uh, where my finger is? This is the nose, right? It's almost like I'm picking its nose, but it's really just the front of the snout here. Yeah, so when we find fossils in the field, if they look this nice, we're very lucky. But um, when we're out in the desert or out someplace where we find fossils, we'll find the bones of that, that, um, that ancient animal. So part of what we'll talk about today, if you guys don't know what a fossil is, I know some of us have done, um, some, of us have done um, some classes and things, and, and I came and talked last, last year, but we'll talk again a little bit about what a fossil is. And um, so it's a remain or a kind of like leftover of any animal or plant that um, just isn't around anymore. And so that's what I mean by that. Can you guys see where, where, I, where I have my, my finger right here? Just a thumbs up or a wave? Yeah, see right here? Oh, it almost looks like the light's shining through. This hole right here is actually where the eyeball would have gone. So if you wanna to try to figure out like what would this have looked like when it had all of its muscles and skin and was breathing and living, this is the real size of Velociraptor skull. And so it would have stood as like a, a living animal, probably no higher than my, my shoulder, maybe even a little lower. So kind of like a puppy dog, <laughs> like a big old puppy with sharp teeth and, and claws on its, on its uh, hands and feet. Yeah. So if you guys have questions about Velociraptor or any other of the dinosaurs that have been shine, shine, like shined up and polished, um, but if you guys look in the very center here, can you guys see what I'm pointing to? Thumbs up or a wave? Yeah, so this right here, it doesn't look like much, but you can see lines, just line after line after line. And this is actually, what you're looking at is the shell of an ancient squid. So a squid, just almost like an octopus, right? That's, it's not alive anymore, but in uh, the time of the dinosaurs, in the Cretaceous period, this, this little guy was a type of squid that actually had a shell. So the squid part with all those tentacles would have come out of this end and would have been wriggling around with its arms on this end, but it lived in this, in this shell. Yeah, so it's kind of weird to think about squids living inside of a shell because they're very squishy. But back in the time of the dinosaurs, this, yeah, yeah, so this is actually, you can see the, can you see my cursor here? The, these on either side, the left and right, you can see claws of the hands. I see dinosaur claws. What's that? I see dinosaur claws now. Yeah, exactly. And you can actually see the feet folded up just like a bird would sit on top of its nest. And take a look at these, these kind of oval shaped things. Can you see them? Yep. 
oh shape because the eggs. Those are eggs, exactly. So this this poor dinosaur was probably a mom or dad sitting on top of this nest and and covering the the eggs just like a, a mama or or dad bird would sit on its nest today. So yeah, even though um, it got covered up and 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 had to die, we can see from this all kinds of really cool evidence that that. Um, dinosaurs laid eggs and not only did they lay eggs but some of them actually sat on top of them and protected them really Very really cool. cool so um so this is a dinosaur called oviraptor oviraptor it's from mongolia here I'm, I'm i'm curious how big is this fossil yeah so this oviraptor the dinosaur probably would have stood about shoulder height ish to me so um, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big sized bird um, kind of, kind of dinosaur. Um, smaller than an ostrich, bigger than a chicken. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Great question, Richie. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. So I'm going to um, do, can you guys see where it says that there's a paleontology workshop? Okay. So, um, some of you guys have some favorite fossils and I have something here that is a space and you guys can work on this uh, on your own if you want to or after the class if you want to, but it's just a space to, sh to share a drawing of your favorite fossil. So where, you know, wherever you might uh, draw inspiration from, whether it's a picture online or a book um, or maybe just a memory that you have of, of looking at, a dinosaur a fossil in a museum or in, you know someplace else then this is a, a great place to share um, a drawing um, I just want to ask does does anyone have a favorite fossil even if you just raise your hand if you have it whoops I'm sorry guys if you have a favorite fossil um, let's see I can see some of you here I see, I see some hands raised. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, I have a favorite fossil too, so I'm going to raise my hand. Um, but I don't have a picture of it right here in front of me. Um, my favorite fossil is a, is a relative of Velociraptor called Deinonychus. Deinonychus is really cool, um, but it, it was just a little bit bigger than Velociraptor. Okay. So what is a fossil? Um, so thinking about like, what is a fossil? Um, so I mentioned a little bit about what fossils are, but I wanna make sure that if you guys have any questions, you can ask them about, about what is a fossil. So, so fossils are the ancient remains of, of a living thing. It might be a plant, it might be even bacteria, it might be an animal. We think a lot about animal uh, fossils like dinosaurs, but uh, they are pieces of the bones or the, the shell or even the footprints and even guys, even the fossil ancient souls anything that you want to share any anything i can i can sort of see the the room i can see if if hands are raised all right i um kara can you hear me yeah we lost you for a quick second. Um, are you asking for, are you looking for um, uh, questions? Yeah, I was just looking for questions. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. And um, JB has had his hand up for a while. I'm going to call on JB. Okay. Ah. So, about those fossils, do you think that those, that some of the fossils come from animals that exist today? Hey, JB. Yeah, so um, we have some fossils that still have living examples that are alive today. So, um, for example, you might be able to find 
a fossil of a magnolia tree and magnolia tree fossils were around in the time of dinosaurs but you can also look outside and sometimes you'll see a magnolia tree alive today um, and we also see fossils of uh, crocodiles and crocodiles are alive today we have a lot of shark fossils and sharks are alive today so even if they're not exactly the same species they're the same type of of uh, of animal or plant and and so it's like in the same family yeah that's a great question jb thank you jb all right guys hands up if you got a question for tara we want to we want to give you guys an opportunity to talk to a, a professional scientist maggie your hand is up go for it maggie so tara how big are the like if you if you measure dinosaurs' feet, like how big are the feet? Oh, really good question. So um, Katrina might remember when I used to work on um, feet, on footprints. And um, so, yeah, uh, you can actually find, so the biggest dinosaurs that had that, those very long necks, they had very big feet because they're, I think, almost like an elephant's feet, but bigger. So they oh, had wow. these big round, round feet. And so those mm. very long neck dinosaurs so that we call sauropod dinosaurs. Um, let me see, if I had to estimate, I'd say some of their feet were at least two feet, two feet, you know, in measurement um, um, long, and that's very big. Um, yep. But most dinosaur feet that we find are like these three toed, like a bird track. Um, and so those, those three toes, those three-toed ones can be quite small. Well, thank okay. you, Maggie. Yeah, great question. Oh. All right, um, Tara, just want to let you know that we have 10 minutes left in class. Okay, um, so... You, go ahead. Okay, so if there are 10 minutes left, we don't have to get to everything on here. Um, but uh, I definitely want to make sure that there's time for questions. I. Um, I did have a little um, question here that had to do with um, with which dinosaur you think ate meat. Um, and so if you guys want, can you see this? That there's like a, a dinosaur on the left and a dinosaur on the right. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we could do just a show of hands. And how many of you guys think that the dinosaur on the left, this one, the dinosaur on the left, how many of you think this dinosaur ate meat. Raise your hand if you think this is the one that ate meat. And it's just by looking at it. Any ideas? Not sure, that's okay. Okay, I see some hands raised. Okay, well, well, it's a little hard to see, but the teeth, just like I was talking about with my Velociraptor, these teeth right here on this skull, this is a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Do you guys, You've probably heard of T-Rex, right? Yeah, so Tyrannosaurus Rex, now that you know, it's probably really clear that this, this dinosaur, this animal did eat meat. But we can tell from its sharp teeth, it has teeth just like, just like a knife um, in its mouth. Whereas the dinosaur on this right-hand side, this is Triceratops. And uh, if you guys have watched Land Before Time, you know that Triceratops was in Land Before Time as well. Um, Sarah, the Triceratops. And so if you were to look in the mouth here, it has almost like a beak, almost like a, a bird. And then the teeth are really hard to see. Sorry about that, guys. But the teeth are actually very, very good at grinding up plants. Yeah. Okay. The last piece here is really just, you know, I love talking to students about what you guys want to learn. So, um, so we can spend the last few minutes, you know, if you have any other questions on fossils, on paleontology, on science, um, what it's like to go out and, and do this work um, in the desert or anything else that you might have. I, I really, really loved the question. I was wondering when, when they were first discovered. Oh, very good question. So I think, Emily, that that dinosaurs probably have been around for a very long time in people's kind of history. Like think about dragons. Think about where dragons might have come from. 
we think that maybe people in ancient China found dinosaur bones, which are very common in China. And they might have said, oh, this is clearly a dragon. Um, but they might not have known that it was a, a dinosaur. The first time people knew what the word dinosaur was, was in England, and it was in the 1800s. So um, a guy in England, a professor at a museum, found these bones and said, I'm gonna call them dinosaurs, which means terrible reptile. Yeah, terrible reptile. Um, but he didn't know at the time that they're a little more closely related to birds. Yeah, very good, very good questions. So it makes you think, right? Like, like when did we really find dinosaur bones but might not have known in history what they were? Very true. All right, hands up, guys. We've got about seven minutes left. Let's take advantage of this. <laughs> um, yeah, do any questions at all? I'm happy to take questions. And if you think of any later, too, you can always, we can always connect somehow. What do you think? All right. Let's, okay. Um, I see, see Okay, let's uh, see. And Brie, go for it. Brianna, what's your question, sweet? Oh, okay. Are you showing us your mask? Oh. Oh, is that a mask? I can't see, sweetie. Dinosaur? Dinosaur? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome, Brie. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. you. Yeah, that was fun. You, you seemed very excited to show us that. Thank you, Brianna. Yeah, thank you so much, Brie. That's really great. Um, all right, hands up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Katrina on the spotlight for a minute. Can oh, you, what should I say? What should I say? What should I say? Why I don't know. Not, what should you say? <laughs> why Nosaurus is... Is it right now? When Nosaurus is related to, related to a dinosaur. Oh, good question. So is a rhinoceros related to a dinosaur? So rhinoceros, they look kind of really weird, right? Almost like they might be a, a, an extinct or a, an ancient animal. But they're actually mammals, and they're more closely related to animals like uh, elephants than they are to any reptile or any bird. Yeah, so they look really big and kind of like they've got horns on their head. Yeah, yeah. great question, Katrine. Yeah. Nice job, Katrina, thank you. Yeah, but it's kind of cool how we can see a living animal today that has horns on its head. And we can have like this dinosaur, Triceratops, that um, this actually came out of a 3D printer, this little plastic thing. Wow. And uh, it has horns on its head too. So that's just, you know, maybe a defense mechanism that both of those groups um, evolved. Great. All right, Jen, you have, you've had your hand up for a while. Go for it, Jen. My favorite dinosaur is a uh, bony, a purple dinosaur. Oh, Jen, I think, I think Barney should be in every museum. <laughs> I think Barney needs to be the ambassador in every museum. <laughs> that, that's so hey, cool. Hey, Jen, um, Tara told us her favorite fossil. Do you want to ask what her favorite dinosaur is? What is your favorite dinosaur? Great question, Jen. Can I share my screen one last time and I'll just show you guys? Yeah, go for it. All right, so let me see if I can find this. This, this one I was talking about, find a good picture. Oh yeah, I found, a, I found a pretty good picture of my favorite. Let me just make sure I, make sure I can, um, okay, let me just make sure. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so, can you guys see these dinosaurs that are kind of sitting here in the one after another in a row? Mm -hmm. And there's a picture of a person on the left-hand side. So that helps you get a sense of, of how, how big they were. So this little one that's right next to the person picture is Velociraptor. So Velociraptor was pretty small, but my absolute favorite, where is, where is it? Is this one on the other side 
This one is Deinonychus. And um, Deinonychus is just a really cool dinosaur. I think it has a, just a great name. And, uh, you know, it's just one of my favorites as a kid. But look at how big this one in the middle is. This one in the middle is Utah Raptor from Utah. And Utah Raptor is about the size of the dinosaurs in called Velociraptor in Jurassic Park. So, um, and it was found right after the movie came out. So it was one of those things where the movie makers were guessing how big some of these animals could get and they called it Velociraptor. But um, Utah Raptor is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big for a raptor dinosaur. And look at how they've, they've put feathers on, on these, these drawings too. So yeah, those are some of my favorites. I'm gonna cool. stop uh, the screen share. Yeah. Very cool. Um, friends, hands up if you got a question for Tara. We're running out of time. I know there's so much to talk about. Um, and like she said, if you, if you guys have any questions, then you can email us and we can get in, in contact with Tara. Um, David F., what is your question for Tara? Oh. Hey, David. What's that? Okay, let me see if I can. Oh, wow. Is, are those your drawings? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I can see them. Oh, wow. That's really, really great. I love that you guys were printing these out and drawing and really interacting. Yeah. And it's okay if you did or didn't. But if you did, that's so great. What, what an awesome job, David. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, David. Nice job. Buddy. Yeah. All right. Well, if, if you think of any other questions, um, you know, you're welcome to ask um, you know, your leaders here, or you can ask Katrina, she can get in touch with me. And I'd be happy to, if I didn't get your question, I'd be happy to answer. Very cool. Um, Tara, thank you so much on behalf of everybody. It's, it's, we love being able to learn from you and we love, we love any opportunity that, you know, this is so nice of you guys. This is, she's in California, so she's three hours behind. So she woke up just to hang out with us. That's pretty awesome. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unmute everybody so you guys can say bye and thank you to our friends. Thank you. 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 You're very welcome. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you.